Welcome everybody to another free thinking show. And this show is where I talk about whether it's a topic that's going on in the news or something going on in my life or just a random talk it topic. And I talk about it. And I let you know my opinions. And with that being said, these are my opinions and views. And if you don't like my, please be respectable of my opinions and views. Just like I'd be respectable of yours in the comments. Thank you. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy the show. okay and welcome back everybody sorry about that i'm still getting used to this new setup i have somewhat old somewhat new i added something new to it i kind of like it so far i like how my voice sounds on it but speaking of voices my voice is kind of jacked up because i am still not feeling good this is why i didn't podcast any sooner which i apologize for that and tonight you're just getting a free thinking show for me you're not getting poetry you got an update already i might do another update but this show is going to pertain into a certain topic that's going on lately and i already know it's gonna be some people who's gonna be maybe upset or heated sorry being sick and stuff like that like I said, if you if I sound jacked up or anything, it's because I'm sick and I'm also trying to suck on a cough drop to get to the podcast. But I want to at least come on here with something. And with that being said, um, I wanted to talk about hmm, this whole Monique thing and her bo- boycotting Netflix. And my opinions on it and kind of where I stand in it. And before anyone thinks just because I'm black, I'm on Monique's side. First of all, I'm not. I am black, yes, but I'm not on Monique's side for a very good reason. Because she's not fighting for everybody. She's fighting for herself. She's being very selfish in this situation. So I'm not on her side at all. As a matter of fact, it had been one thing that she was actually fighting for everybody, but she's not. And to make things worse and kind of embarrassing. Maybe I should explain, like, the situation just in case if anyone's been, if no one knows or they don't care. But, um, Monique was offered 500000 to do a Netflix special. And then they said later on, she was actually offered, she was offered three million, but it was to audition in for the Netflix special. I don't know if that part was true or not, because now people are not even saying it anymore. So it may not even been true. But she wants people to boycott Netflix because they only offered her 500000 And she thinks that she should be offered more I feel like it was Monique who was always doing specials back in the 90s and always working yeah sure but it is recent Monique sorry cough drop but this recent Monique that pretty much went disappearing after her winning this Oscar and thinking she's better than everybody else and She's got this ridiculous ego. And it's almost like she forgot who she was and where she came from. 
and where she started out. And furthermore, she thinks just because she won an Oscar, you won an Oscar being a shitty parent. Let's let the truth be said. She won an Oscar for being a shitty parent. Because that's what Precious is about. That was her role in Precious, being the definition of a shitty parent. You gave your daughter to some man just to keep him fucking around. Oh, sorry if anyone hasn't watched Precious. Spoil the whole movie for you. But yeah. And then to top it off, you're gonna run around screaming, suck my dick to people who gave you an opportunity, who the reason why you got the fucking Oscar, because you wouldn't have been in the movie if it wasn't for Oprah or Tyler Perry. I don't know why Lee Daniels had something to do with it, but... And then to top it off, now she's going on this whole... I guess a tour now as they're saying it on YouTube and stuff where she's going to different radio stations and radio and radio things about her opinions and her views and her side and how she's right and honestly I don't feel like she's right in the situation I just feel like she's being selfish and she feels like people should pay her from the get money like she's going to actually do something I'm sorry but I wouldn't I don't blame them because she's kind of a loose cannon. She wasn't consistently working throughout that time frame. And then even like when you see her special she does now, she's kind of a loose cannon on stage because you don't know what the fuck she's going to say. So Netflix might need to save that money for a- Oh, Lord. Sorry, I got cats out here fighting by the way, I'm recording outside, so if you hear cats and cars and stuff, that's why. Scared the shit out of me. But anywho, um, what was I saying? That threw my whole train of thought out the way. But um. She's kind of a loose cannon and maybe Netflix didn't want to give her that much money because who knows what she'll say on on Netflix. Where Netflix may have to turn around and have to have lawyers and stuff because of what she says. And before anyone says in the comments, well, they didn't do that for Dave Chappelle. I understand that. But everybody knows how Dave Chappelle's comedy is. And yeah, Dave Chappelle went away, but Dave Chappelle came back. And he and ever since he came back, he's been selling out shows. If anyone can tell me that Moni sold out shows since she's came back, please let me know. Because there's shows I've seen that done showing recently, like when her doing the whole rant and all that. Those seats, some seats look a little empty to me. That's just me. And then she was talking about the movie she did, Almost Christmas. Yeah, it was a good movie, but once more she feels like she should be given so much for doing all these roles but she's not doing positive black role model roles in a sense you're being a shitty single mother in one that you want an Oscar out of then you're being a drunk ass aunt in another movie in your recent movie that you came back that's what you came out of retirement for to be a drunk ass aunt really but you want to be mad at people I guess I don't understand the situation and to be be completely honest with you I I feel like she's just being fucking selfish and she feels like people should pity her and I'm sorry I'm not canceling my subscription to Netflix I've been watching way too much lately I watched a Dave Chappelle special and the Def Jam one I had it off for a little bit but that's cause I couldn't pay there's a different story between canceling couldn't pay um but yeah i've been watching quite a bit on netflix i actually found a purpose for netflix now (laughs) and i was trying to watch the new chris rock special but yeah i just honestly feel like in that situation and then the whole weird shit with her calling her husband daddy that's a whole nother trip i'm not going there to each their own if that's what tickles your pickle go right ahead call him daddy that's you but um 
my view my view towards this whole situation is I feel like she's being selfish it's not like she's going for and for the people who are like oh you're anti-feminist you don't care about equal pay equal rights I do care about equal pay I care about equal rights me being a female working in retail and seeing people getting screwed over for years hold on one moment Me working in retail and me working with people who've been screwed for years because someone else can come and get paid the same amount that it took them fucking damn near a decade to get to. Trust me, I believe in equality and I believe in pay. Pay equality. But I also believe in if you ain't been doing shit in a while, why should one person who's been busting their ass work and constantly even in behind the scenes and everything else I get paid the same amount as the person who just literally shows up one day out of the blue and says hey I'm here I feel like in the same sense you need to earn those stripes you need to show that you're worth that pay not just you know here just to say hey I'm here let me get this check no and I feel like some professions you sh- it should be like that like I feel like you shouldn't I feel like in a sense it's kind of like giving someone free money and if they're not fucking working really but that's a whole nother story I'm not going there today because I don't want someone to be like well what the fuck do you mean by that hmm what the fuck do you mean by that and I already know I can hear it in my head in my comments on YouTube or wherever you listen to (laughs) but um that is my opinion on that subject and on that i'm gonna take a brief break so i can get another cough drop and then we can maybe talk about another topic before i start coughing and hacking out a lung give me one moment I'm back. Hold on. So, what else has been on my mind lately? Well, I actually sparked the other day in a conversation I had with someone online. And if you actually listen to my podcast, you inspired this next subject. Knowing when it's time to move on and when it's time for you to get back out there in a sense sorry I got um someone driving behind me once more I'm recording outside forgive me but um yeah when do you know when it's time for you to move on to put yourself back out there again um be honest with you I'm still trying to figure that out myself but it was someone who was trying to I guess trying to get me to go back out there try to re-love again 
and technically I haven't been in a relationship for two years according to Facebook because they keep showing me old memories I don't want to see I mean me and the person were cool but I keep everyone who I'm cool with and we're not good at a distance so that's how that works out and sorry that might have been all in y'all eardrums I am so sorry but once more I warned you at the beginning I am sick but I am trying to podcast still because I did promise you guys I was going to do something this week but I'm gonna kind of work on this subject a little bit more on my new show I'm gonna do on here that'll be how to grow I'm going to take different subjects and show you how I grew up on them. So you will also see my journey and different things that's happened in my life. And maybe it could help you guys out. And I'm in the midst of working on this whole how to grow situation and how to move on. And how to get back out there in a sense. Even though your heart is saying no. Your mind saying no. But you know at the end of the day, everyone's gotta be loved and you gotta feel that love in return or else it's not the same it'll never be the same as you being by yourself that might sound confused that might be a little confused you need to feel that love because if you don't feel that love you'll always feel like something's missing in your life you can be well accomplished you can have a great career not a job a career there's a huge difference between the two and you can also have great kids and have the house of your dreams the cars are your dreams the phones are your dreams take world trip vacations but what is it worth if you don't have someone special other than your children and your family to spend that time with and me coming from personal experience it's hard for me to go back out there and try again and I mean to each their own and to be honest with you it is very hard to do it I'm not gonna even lie to you and from personal experience right now it's like I'm it's a battle within like I know I know I don't need to be hiding and putting myself into my nine to five and just my family issues I need someone else but in the same sense when do I have that time to let someone in and open up to that extent I'm going to take a brief break and then we will keep going. and I'm back and with that I just want to let you guys know if you're kind of going through a similar thing as me and you're not sure if you should take that step back out there and let someone back in your heart I'm gonna say it because I have to tell myself this every day that you should but also be cautious at the same time but don't be too cautious where you don't let someone in. And also don't be so willing to let your walls down right away. 
let that person they need to earn your trust just like you need to earn theirs and with that I hope you guys enjoy and have a good evening and I hope you guys enjoy the show and once more my opinions and my views are my opinions and views if you want to leave something if you're from YouTube or depending on where you're from I don't know if you can leave comments on iHeartRadio which I'm actually that's another thing I need to say this show is on iHeartRadio now so welcome first of all and I hope you guys enjoy this and also don't leave negative comments on if you don't want to hear what I had to say just don't listen and with that and if you guys have any ideals that you want to hear my opinions on and you're from YouTube or anywhere you can leave comments leave the comments down below and have a good evening sweet dreams